Well, folks, it's that time of year when groups of writers start to fill out their ballots for the most prestigious awards. Rookie of the Year, Cy Young, MVP, you know the drill. And in 2016, Rick Porcello won the American League Cy Young Award with maybe the most confusing stat line imaginable, at least in the context of the league. Porcello recorded 22 wins in 2016 with a career-best 315 ERA, 189 strikeouts, and a 1.09 whip. You'd think that a guy with that basic stat line would be in the conversation for one of the best pitchers for that season, but maybe not the Cy Young Award winner, right? In a normal year, sure. But Porcello's win in 2016 reminds us all of a very unfortunate fact with awards like the Cy Young. Pitching wins, as a statistic, is about as flawed as they get. But unfortunately, we as a collective baseball community tend to lean more on stats like wins than we do some of the underlying analytics. Porcello, by quite a few metrics, wasn't the best pitcher in the American League in 2016. But his team's unreal level of run support in his starts allowed him to record a quality start and basically guarantee a win. You could make the argument that knowing a pitcher is going to give you a quality start every time he takes the ball has an intangible effect on offenses. But that argument is reliant on something that can't be quantified. And there are absolutely measures that can quantify success. Let's start with what's accepted as the holy grail for awards voting, wins above replacement. For the non-baseball folks, war is a measure that compares you against what is considered to be the major league average. Simply put, how much better are you than a standard replacement at your position around the league? According to Baseball Reference's war calculation, Porcello had a lower war than Justin Verlander, Corey Kluber, Chris Sale, Aaron Sanchez, Masahiro Tanaka, Michael Fulmer, and even Jose Quintana. Yet Porcello finished above all of these guys in Cy Young voting. What about whip? Porcello's walks plus hits per innings pitched, another metric of pitchers shutting down offenses, was a career best 1.09 in 2016. Only Justin Verlander had a lower whip in the American League in 2016. Next up is ERA. Porcello's 315 ERA in 2016 was higher than Verlander, Tanaka, Fulmer, and in line with Jay Happ, Quintana, and Kluber. His park-adjusted ERA, his ERA+, plus, was lower than Kluber's and the same as Sanchez. ERA, however, is by and large subject to the defense behind the pitcher. Porcello's reliance on defense has always been part of his game, but so many accompanying metrics support the case that Porcello's Cy Young winning season in 2016 was the result of run support by the Boston Red Sox and good defense behind him. So when some metrics say he was the best or close to it, but others disagree, how do we measure his season? Really, it's simple. Wins should not be a key metric in Cy Young voting. And they're probably the dumbest stat that people cite when it comes to Cy Young candidacy. In 2016, you could make the case for almost any other pitcher who finished in the top 10 in Cy Young voting other than Porcello. But wins shouldn't be the tiebreaker. Why is that? Let's take a look at Shelby Miller's 2015 season with the Atlanta Braves. In 33 starts for the then rebuilding Braves, Miller recorded a 302 ERA. He gave up just 13 home runs and struck out 171 in 205 and a third innings, with an ERA plus of 127 and a FIP of 345. Simply put, he was about 27% better at preventing runs than the major league average. Miller also threw two complete game shutouts in 2015, which these days seems exceedingly rare, but was slightly more common in 2015. With a very similar stat line to Rick Porcello's in 2016, how did Miller fare in the win-loss department? He won six games and lost 17. A starter with those numbers is almost never the loser of 17 games, but that was Shelby Miller's story in 2015. In those 33 starts, Miller received an average of 2.59 runs of support. Wins don't even come close to telling the whole story and shouldn't be a significant part of voting. It's a team-based metric and the need to assign a win or loss to one pitcher is one of baseball's biggest logical flaws. Consider this scenario. A pitcher has an ERA of close to four, but wins 20 games because his team averages six or seven runs in his starts. That's not something pitchers can directly control, but in the context of awards voting, pitchers can get hurt or helped by the team backing him up. That doesn't seem fair. Now let's be clear. This is not a knock on Porcello's career at all. Any pitcher who can make it to the major leagues and have success, especially without the stuff of a hard thrower like Justin Verlander, is worthy of the acclaim they receive. 
but to be named a Cy Young Award winner means that you produced the best season among the peers in your league. Sometimes, pitchers get the short end of the stick when it comes to wins and losses. Jacob deGrom won just 10 games in 32 starts in his Cy Young Award winning 2018 season, recording a 1.7 ERA with a career high 269 strikeouts. Sure, you're bound to have cases where guys like Blake Snell also in 2018 win 21 games with a sub 2 ERA, but as soon as you factor run support into the equation, you're bound to have a vastly different situation. Porcello delivered more than 25 quality starts in 2016, but received almost seven runs per game of run support. And in six of those starts, he got 10 or more runs behind him. Porcello didn't throw six or seven shutout innings on a nightly basis, allowing his team to win one run or close games. In fact, he recorded only three scoreless outings in 2016. None of those starts were complete games either. Turning out quality starts is important, sure but wins are more indicative of success only if they're accompanied by absolutely microscopic ERAs or dominating the league in other metrics. Porcello had a good year in 2016, but by no means was it Cy Young award worthy, at least in my humble opinion. Old school analysis tells you wins matter. The analytics, not so much. But what do you think? Chime in down below with your thoughts. Porcello had a solid major league career, there's no doubt about that. But was his 2016 season truly a Cy Young caliber season? If you enjoyed today's video, a like is very much appreciated. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.